friends welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be budgeting out my biggest side hustle paycheck ever and that is because i got paid for the first time from youtube and i got paid from etsy so we're gonna go through all of it and i'm gonna share with you my real numbers this is my biggest etsy payout to date and i am flabbergasted <laughs> um it's just really rewarding after last week when i didn't make a lot on etsy that i just had a total boom and I have a ton of money that I'm stuffing today and I have a million orders to do. So I'm going to try and do this quickly so I can get back to making orders for y'all. So my first YouTube paycheck was for January. I got monetized at the end of January. So I only got paid like $30 in January and the rest of that was from February. So I made $278.46 on YouTube through Google AdSense and then Etsy they just deposited $435.26 ah, into my account, which is absolutely wild. Like, I just don't, I just don't understand. And then last week, which I didn't put in here, is 129.61. So y'all, I don't know what happened, but y'all just like bought all the things in the last week. So <laughs> thank you. Whew. So let's add those in here. So I've got those in here and I did determine the price of my P.O. Box and Amazon Prime. I don't know that I'm going to fully hit this budget, but things that I want to save for, um, I'll put a budget of what that could look like. So I need $73 by the end of next month, I think. So I'm going to put 73 here just because I know I need it. Um, eventually. And then for Amazon Prime to pay for a year would be 119 Again, I'm not going to fully fund those this month, but at least it's something to look at, like a goal to reach for. I am fully funded in my other bills, so that's good. And then we'll fill in the rest of this at the end of the month. So now we can go to our week four tracker and figure out what our total income is. And so I did them kind of separately because I knew what the amounts were going to be a little bit separately. So for YouTube, I did 278, so I just got rid of the change. And then for Etsy, I did 435. So in total, we are budgeting $713, which is wild, like absolutely wild. And I am gonna break this out, let's do this, between YouTube and Etsy because I'm budgeting them separately. So this is helpful for me for later. So for YouTube, I want, let's budget YouTube first, like all the way down here. So 278, 30% of that would be $83.40. So we're just gonna round that up to 85 because I'm trying to put a few extra dollars in there when I can. Expenses aren't gonna be exactly 50%, so we'll do that last. So for products is not getting anything because I don't support, I wanna support my product expenses totally from Etsy. Um, equipment, I will put $10 in just because it, let me put it over to the side, because I do use some of my equipment for YouTube, like I could eventually buy a camera or other things, so I will contribute there. Shipping, I won't because that's solely for Etsy, and then office, I'll contribute $10 because I use office supplies like pens for YouTube more often than not, so I definitely want to stuff that. And then I'll stuff marketing because I also... Um, use that folder to pay for giveaway, um, shipping and things. So I will stuff that one. And then I wasn't going to stuff bills, but because I'm trying to save for Amazon Prime and a PO box, I am going to throw $50 in there this time just to try and get those up to where I need them to be. So if that's all we do for expenses, that will be $80. So then we had $278 and then we had $85 in taxes and $80 in expenses. So that leaves me with $113 of take-home pay, which is so exciting. And I decided that I'm not going to put any of it towards extra debt, Ugh. but I paid off my Bank of America credit card. I put a ton of stimulus and tax refund money towards my debt. So I'm taking a break and I'm not putting any of that in there. <laughs> Oops. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, treat myself. So I'm giving myself the full $113. So... 113 plus 85 plus 80 should equal 278 for YouTube, which it does. Now we get to go through and do Etsy, which is $435. 
and 30% of that is about 130. And for this one, I'm rounding down. And then expenses is getting, typically it gets like 50%. But I think I'm gonna round this one down to 200 because I wanna put more in my take home pay. So let's see, if we have 435 to start and we put 130 towards taxes and then 200 towards expenses, that leaves me with 105 dollars of take-home pay. Sorry, I'm covering that up, of take-home pay. Okay, so now let's break down the expenses. So I definitely want to put a good chunk of this towards products. I usually do 30% um, or more. I have been doing 50% some. So 30% is $60, but I want to do more than that, but I don't want to do quite 50%. So let's just do $80. And then equipment typically gets 20%. Um, but I need to round down because I want to save some money for bills. So let's do $30 instead of the typical what would have been $40. And then I'm going to do the same in office because it's empty right now. And then shipping will get an even lower amount because it does have some money in it. So we'll do $20 there. And then let's do $20 in marketing. And then how much does that leave us for bills? So $200 minus $80 minus $30 minus $20. Minus 30, minus 20, leaves us with, oh, it left us with 20. I deleted it. Great. So that is how I'll break down those $200. And then for my take-home pay, y'all, I also decided not to use this to pay any extra towards debt. It's fine. Don't come for me. Okay. So we have 130 for taxes, 200 for expenses, and 105 for me, which is 435, which is right on the money. So, great. Um, I'm not gonna do the breakdown because I already have the cash because I had a lot of expenses that I needed to pay, put back in the bank to pay off my card. And so I decided to just keep the cash and make the denominations work. So that's why I'm not gonna fill this out. Um, but I will budget out my take home income, which is going to be 113 from YouTube and 105 from Etsy which in total is 218. YouTube is going mostly towards like immediate gratification things. So I'm going to start by putting $20 in gas because y'all gas is going up. I know everyone's been mentioning that, but I definitely need more money in gas to entertain my friends who are coming um, on Wednesday. Today's Monday night when I'm filming this. So I'm gonna do 20 in gas and then I definitely want to do entertainment. So we'll do $85 in entertainment and that's to get me back up to $200 because I paid I like spent some of that money this week getting supplies for them to come visit So let's see of the 113 for YouTube. We have spent 85 on entertainment and 20 on gas. We only have $8. So I'm going to do giving and My household fund. I definitely know I drained that after going to Walmart this week. So household I'll give five and giving I'll give three and that'll be it for YouTube. So 85 plus three plus five plus 20 is 113. And then let's do Etsy in a different color just so I can tell the difference. Okay, so for this one, I want to fund my California trip and my friend's wedding. Those are a must. If you watch my channel, you know. Um, so California, I want to try and do $20 every time and my friend's wedding, I want to try to do 10. So that is $30 off the bat. I kind of want to throw more into entertainment, but let me think of the other categories I want. I wrote them down. So I want to do entertainment. I want to do household again, because again, I drained it. Um, I want to stuff self care cause I have a haircut coming up. I want to stuff weddings because I drained it this week with baby showers and wedding gifts. And then I wanna stuff my one week ahead if I have money left, which is my fund to get one week ahead on my spending for the five week months and I get paid monthly. So it helps me pay for those months. So, okay. So we had 105 and we've spent 30 of it. So we have 135 left. Um, I'll just do another five in house and a five in weddings. So that minus 10. And then one week ahead, let's do last because I'll do whatever's left. Self-care, I'll do 10 since that's like a little more pressing. And then entertainment, I have 105 minus 20 minus 
Okay, wait, I did all the math wrong. So we had 105 to start minus 30 is, is 75. Okay, and then I did minus 10 for household and babies and then minus 10 for self-care. I was like, that seems high. Okay, so I have 55 left. So let's do 50 in entertainment and let's do five in one week ahead. And we should be good to go with these breakdowns and now I'm going to get the cash in my side hustle binder and we'll start with that and then we'll move on to my sinking funds. Okay y'all so here's my side hustle binder where I leave everything and I have my income um, envelope here that has listed what I have gotten in income this week so I'm just going to take all of this out. It's so much money and we are going to do YouTube and Etsy separately, and I did separate the money a little bit, and that's just because I got paid from YouTube earlier than Etsy. So I'm going to put this aside for now, and we'll start with YouTube. So YouTube should be 278, so let's count it. We have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 2. 20, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 275, 76, 77, and 78. So we have 278 for YouTube. And then for Etsy, we should have 435. That's absolutely crazy. So 435. So we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 340, 350, 360, 370, 380, 390, 400, 410, 420, 425, 430, 435. So, whew, we have 435 from Etsy and 278 from YouTube. Let's put them together. I want to see it all together. Okay, we'll do that. So here's all of it together. Oh, we've got to get the thumbnail. Nice. I hope that's good enough. So my Etsy and my YouTube together should be $713. So let's give it a count. Okay, we have 100, 150, 200, 220, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, 420, 40, 60, 80, 500, 520, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, 6, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 700, whew, 705, 10, 11, 12, 13. So $713 right here. Only a few of it's prop money and that's because I didn't have enough cash to do this and I didn't want to go to the bank because I was like, I could just film this right now. So we're using some prop money and you'll see what I'm doing with that. So let's get this set up in my cash tray. All right, so we'll start with taxes. And I haven't filled out these trackers and I think the only one I'm going to fill out is taxes because it's gonna be the hardest to count. So today is the 22nd and we are gonna put in YouTube and Etsy separately just so I know how much I saved for each. So for YouTube, we're adding $85 and for Etsy, we're adding 130. So we should have $588 when we're done. So let's take out what we have, which should be 373. And let's add 85 for, did I do it in, I might've done it. Yeah, I think I did it in fake bills. So 50, 70, 80, five. So 50, 70, 85 will be for YouTube. And for Etsy, it's one, 120 and 130. So 120, 30. Let's shift all these. Okay. So now let's add this all together and see what we get. Okay. So some of this is real money and some of it is prop money. And I'll show you what I'm doing this in a minute. But first, let's count and see if we have 588. We have 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 420, 40, 60, 80, 500. 520, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. So 588 dollars 
in here. And because I hit 500, I decided to put in a $500 slip, which I had listed on my Etsy for all of one day before Etsy removed my listing because they have some sort of policy against fake currency. So I can no longer sell these on Etsy, but if you're interested, message me on Instagram and we'll see what we can figure out. I'm going to look into potentially using a different platform than Etsy. Um, I've heard good things about Big Cartel and other things. So anyway, really sorry about that if you've tried to buy them, but I'm going to use this $500 slip and use that to condense my uh, taxes and put this in my savings account. So now in taxes, let's take out $500. So we should have $88. So we'll do, we'll keep a 50, 70, 80, and these $3. I'm going to put a 10 in here and take two fives. So then we can keep a five here. So this should be 588 in taxes. So we have 500, 550, 570, 580, 585, 586, 78. So 588 dollars. So what I will do is some of this is prop money. So let's filter that out. Okay. So this prop money is what I can transfer from my current paychecks into my savings for taxes. And then I'll need to deposit this money to put it into my savings account for taxes. So I'll just put this all together and put it off to the side. Oh, and this should be $500. So we have 100, 150, 170, 190. Wait. So we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 215 in prop money. And then we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 85 in real money. So that's $500. So that's how I did that. Sorry if that was confusing, but I just wanted to put that money in the bank. So moving on from taxes, we're going to products, which we're only stuffing out of my Etsy paycheck. And it is going to get $80. So we'll do 50, 70, 80. Do I want a 50? No, because I want smaller bills. So let's do 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. Yeah. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, because I hardly buy products that are $50, so I probably wouldn't ever be able to break that. So let's keep it in small denominations. So that has $80, and then equipment is going to get $30 from Etsy and $10 from YouTube. So let's do 20, 30 from Etsy and 10 from YouTube is 20, 30, 40. So 40 is in equipment now, which is great. Shipping is not getting anything from YouTube because I don't use it for YouTube really. And it is going to get $20 from Etsy. So now in shipping, we have 20, 30, 40, 55, which is great. And then in office, it is getting 30 from Etsy and 10 from YouTube. So 20, 30, 40 is what we're adding to office, which is empty. So that's better. And then marketing is going to get 10 from YouTube and 20 from Etsy. So it has, it's going to get added $30 today. So adding that in, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, and 62 in marketing, which is great because I need new business cards and I'll probably order those this weekend. And then bills, here's all my little notes about the P.O. box and everything. In bills, this is getting a good chunk of cash. This is getting a 50 from YouTube and 20 from Etsy. So it's getting $70 today. So adding that in here, we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 91, 2, 3, and 4. So we have $94. And some of that goes towards my regular bills and some of that is savings for my P.O. box that will be charged to my account in April, uh, the end of April. So 
So that is it for my side hustle binder. We're all stuffed up there and now we can move on to my sinking funds. So we'll get started with Big Blue today. She is, I didn't even realize these were in here, but these are double-sided envelopes that I just made for Christmas, for my Christmas fund. I'm gonna start saving specifically for gifts for each person in my double-sided matte envelopes. And these are available in my Etsy store if you would like to purchase them. Um, I wasn't planning on unveiling them today, but they were in my binder, so they just kind of fell out. And I'll be talking all about Christmas budgeting later, and I will be coming out with some Christmas, with some Christmas budgeting bundles that you can purchase, so. Be on the lookout for that. But some of these are not getting stuffed, but Cali Trip is. We are going to be putting $20 in here today. And we'll be stuffing lodging and transportation per usual. So they will each get $10. So lodging now has 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 400. So this is fully funded. Lodging is totally done, which is so, so exciting. So, woohoo! Fully funded for lodging for when I go to California, if I go to California. Still TBD. I've got to figure a few things out. And then transportation is getting the last 10. Now in transportation, we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 380, 390, 395. So we only need five more dollars in transportation to be fully funded. So we will be fully funded with that by the end of the month and we'll move on to some other categories. So now on my California trip, we've saved $944. Woohoo! My friend's wedding is next and she is going to get $10 and she is fully funded in a couple category or just in the one category. I think today we're gonna finish off tan though. Let's see, how much does Tan need? Yep, Tan needs 10 more dollars and we're adding 10 today. So now in tan, tan, we have 10, 20, 35. Wait, what? We already fully funded Tan. Never mind. I just didn't update my tracker. Tan is fully funded. <laughs> we're stuffing hair. <laughs> so in my hair envelope, we're adding $10. So we have 110 in hair for a goal of 150. So, yay! Starting to make progress there. And for her wedding, we have $585 saved. And this, um, I'll need to start saving for another flight probably if I don't transfer the flight credits that I have. Um, I might still be going to California because I had two weddings in California, so I might need an additional plane ticket. So I need to figure that out later. And then nothing else in here is getting stuffed because we're not doing any debt today. But we are gonna stuff my revolving funds that are super pretty to look at. I'm just really in love with them. So we're not stuffing adventures or boyfriend or car maintenance or clothes or electronics, but we are stuffing entertainment the most out of any of them. And we are stuffing 85 from YouTube. So 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 85. And then we are stuffing an additional 50 from Etsy, 20, 40, 50. So all together, we're stuffing 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 35. So 135 we're adding to my entertainment fund, which is what I'm using to pay for my friend's trip that um, my friends get here in a couple days, so we have 100, 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220, 230, 240, 245, 250, 251, 2, and 3. So we have 253 in here, and I feel good about that. Fitness and wellness is not getting stuffed. Gifts is not getting stuffed, but giving is getting these $3 here. So in giving now, we have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. 26 in giving. And then household is getting five from each. I'm gonna put a 10 and see what happens. I might mess up my denominations, but. So five from YouTube and five from Etsy. Kristen, me is not getting anything. Medical is not getting anything. Self-care is getting 10. 
So let's add that. We have 2031. My haircuts are like $60, I think, plus tips, so I need to keep going on that. Shopping is not getting anything. Subscriptions is not getting anything. Vacations not. Volleyball's not. Weddings and babies, that is getting $5. It is totally gone, y'all. I went a little overboard, but it's fine. And then one week ahead is getting $5 as well. Why do I have an extra 20? I don't know what I did. So one week ahead has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150, 155. What did I do? Oh, it's for gas. I'm, okay. <laughs> I forgot. I put an extra $20 away for gas. Yes. Thank you. Past me for remembering. So we are going to go to my wallet and go to gas and we are just going to add a 20 here. We did already have $20 in it, but we're going to add another 20 and now we'll have 40, which should be plenty to get me through the end of the month. So That is it for this stuffing. It was so fun. I got to stuff all my money. I didn't put any of it towards debt, which like I definitely could have. And I really just, I decided I want a mini break. So my friends coming to visit is the mini break. And then I'll get back to it the second that they leave. My Etsy paycheck for next time should also be pretty big because I have a million orders right now. So I'm sure I'll be able to make up for it with time. So thank you all so much for watching and for your continued support of my channel. None of these stuffings would be possible without you. So thank you so, so, so much. And I appreciate y'all. And I hope you are doing well and reaching your financial goals. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in my next one. Bye.